Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Mason African Motives, still working on engineering science and for question papers and revisions. So in this platform we shall be working on a question on kinematics again, which is on the question paper which was written in November 2019. So we shall quickly rush through the question and see how we are supposed to answer these questions. So if you are new guys, you can consider subscribing so that you become part of the family Mason African Motives. So quickly working on the question that we are given there. On 3.1, you are given that a military precision, a marine hit with uh, an approaching enemy warship with a missile 55 kilometers from the shore. The missile was launched from the ground at 520 kilometers per hour at 50 degrees to the ground. So we are given the velocity, which is the speed, and also the angle of projection, I mean, the angle that is going to be having of projection there, which is the projectile. Determine the total time in minutes. Take note, guys, this is in minutes for the missile to hit the warship 55 kilometers away on a horizontal plane. This is a horizontal plane, not a vertical plane. All right. We all know, guys, when you are working with the uh, the projector that you are definitely are going to have just a sketch uh, this one but it's not much applicable in this question but uh, most of you that's what you're gonna think of most of the times to have your angle of uh, 50 degrees there uh, is it 50 degrees yeah that is 50 degrees and uh, what else we just have our parabola that way so that we can have our height something like that so that's what most of you actually do in exam. You just indicate your height and this will be your hue, which is a uh, 500 and what? That's 520. So this is just going to be 520 there kilometers per hour. And uh, this one is going to be U cos theta. And uh, this one is going to be U sine theta. As we know that the vertical, that's your vertical. And that's your horizontal. Okay, we'll talk about this later on. So since we are working with a horizontal plane and one the time that was taken, yes, this part was just there to just show us, but we are given here, guys, the horizontal distance actually, which is uh, the horizontal distance of uh, 55 kilometers, which is actually 55,000 meters. All right. And we actually know that uh, this distance can be given by ut, that is uh, the velocity times the time. Remember, guys, distance, that's the velocity times or times the time. But in this case, you are going to use the horizontal velocity, which is u cos theta. So it's just going to be u cos theta times t. So this is our sh like that. So that means actually I can have the time here because this u is there and this cos theta is there, this one is there. So simply make t to be the subject. That's gonna be the distance over u cos theta. All right. So let's substitute guys, we are given this in meters. So this is going to be 55,000 in meters over u cos theta, which is this part, u cos theta. But take note, guys, we are working with the uh, distance, which is the displacement in meters. So definitely this U should be in meters per second. So we have to convert this U to meters per second. So we've got our U as a 520 kilometers per hour. Remember, guys, the relationship one meter per second actually gives us 3,6 kilometers per hour. So you simply divide by... 3,6. So this is going to be in meters per second, which is going to give us something like 144,444. It will be 4444 and so on. So this will be in meters per second. So that's our U there. So this is going to be in place of U. We now substitute this U that we obtained. But the angle is cos theta there. So it's going to be 144,444 cos theta and we are given the angle of 50 degrees so this is going to be cos 50 like that okay so 
definitely the T can be found. So as you know, as you can see guys, it's an advantage to know the formulas. It's a great advantage to know the formulas, which ones to use and which one not to use. So you're going to obtain 592,37358 of which you round off is going to be 74, which is time is in seconds because this was in meters, this was meters per second. So to obtain the time in minutes because we are given to find the time in minutes. So what are you going to do? Remember how you convert seconds to minutes. You're going to divide. So this one you divide by 60 which means our t is going to be in minutes. So we're going to obtain 9,87289. So if you round off, it's going to be 9,873. Okay, this is now in minutes. So this is going to be our time in minutes. So that was the condition or that was the consideration there, guys. So as you can see, it's much important that you understand the concept that you are working with and so forth okay anyways let's see another question that we had we had uh, actually five marks a fighter plane q flies at 250 kilometers per hour east while the velocity of fighter plane q is 210 kilometers per hour west 55 53 degrees so determine the velocity of fighter plane uh that is uh with respect or relative to what to q that is what you're going to to have in this case okay so let's just try and uh, have a diagram here of what is happening these two they are actually taken from the same point uh from the look of things here these two are taken from the same point so we shall just give our north pole and uh, the east line just just as usual guys you just have something like this okay so this is actually your north this is your east this is your west and this is your south like that all right so you're given that this one is going to be q is 250 kilometers to the east so which means this one is direct in the east line all right this one is direct in the east so there's nothing that i'm going to do I'm just going to indicate this direct in the east, like this, in the east. All right, so this is where we are going, guys, to the east. And uh, this one, it's uh, 250 kilometers per hour, and this one is for Q. So this one is for Q, and it's 250 kilometers per hour, something like that. All right. Then we have got P, which is west 53 degrees to the south. So this is west going to the south. So it's in between here, west and south. So it's actually in between west and south. 53 degrees, guys, it's more than 45, remember? So it can be just something like this, just to show that we are clear about this angle that it's more than 45 degrees. So this is actually the P that you're talking about. And uh, it's from west to south from west to south so this is west going to the south like this so this is the angle here west going to the south so this is where we're going to have our 53 degrees outside of the diagram like that and uh, we have got uh, the speed also which is 210 so this was 210 kilometers per hour all right so the question is what is going to be the relative velocity of p with respect to q so definitely i have to join these two to find that relative velocity guys i have to join the two all right so this is what i'm going to have in this case i need the relative velocity of p with respect to q so where i am given with respect to is where i'm going to have that um, this one with respect to Q. So I'm just going to have my North Pole here at Q, this one. So remember, this is a already in the East. So it's just a continuation of the East line, this one. All right. So that means we are going to talk about the angle later on because we need the direction. So the direction is going from the East going to the, this one is going to be our direction. Let's just call this direction theta or beta or alpha, whatever that you want. So you can just write it as beta like this, the direction. 
So definitely, guys, we need to find this resultant first. How are we going to find this resultant, guys? How are we going to do this? How are we going to find this velocity? All right. We have to think about cosine rule, guys, because this is, uh, all right, this is to the south and this is to the east. And we know that definitely there is a 90 degrees here. And this angle here can be found because this is also a 90 degrees here. So it's 90 minus 53 to obtain this angle inside the triangle. So it's 90 minus 53, uh, which is going to give us something like what, guys? 90 minus 53, we've got this one, which is 37. So this is going to be 37 here. So this will be 37 degrees. And this will be 90 degrees. So 37 plus 90, you add together. This is going to give you... 127 actually here i obtained 127 degrees okay this angle here is 127 degrees if you add this to 90 plus that seven is going to give you 127 all right definitely i can find this velocity y because we know that cosine rule test that all right this is our cosine rule if you are gonna find a it's gonna be a is equal to the square root of b squared plus c squared minus 2pc cos a like this okay i didn't want to write a or i just wanted to write like the result here like ah, right there okay anyways so you can just write it as a no problem okay so it means if this is a this is angle a all right so just no problem guys so let's just use a so it's the square root of these two so this B and C are these sides which are created this 210 and this 250 ones which create the angle here. Sorry, sorry for that guys. This angle and this angle here. This side and this side which create this angle here. This is your A and your B. So you just choose any of the two to start with. There's no problem. So I'm just going to start with 210 plus 250 squared okay this is 250 squared minus is the easiest to formula this one guys and you've got 2bc which is this b and you see you, you repeat them so it's two times 210 times this 250 cos this angle a is the one that is opposite to the side that you're calculating so this is the a and this is the angle that is opposite which is 127 the angle that is in between b and c like that so this is gonna give you from your calculator that's four one two comma zero five six five so six zero five six five so definitely you're going to round off it's going to be zero five seven this one is going to be zero five seven and this is kilometers per hour as we are given these ones are also in kilometers per hour but always when you're working with the relative velocity uh, we also need the direction because this is a vector quantity so it must have the direction so like i said the direction okay on this one it is direct is as you can see with it's relative with respect to q so when we are given with respect to is where you find your angle so this is the angle bit which is between the horizontal line and the resultant this one so this is the angle here so this is on the west because we are talking about this north pole this is north this is your east and this is your south so the angle is between west going to the south okay so the angle which is direction is west uh, beta degrees going to the south like that so it's going to be west so we have to find this beta here this angle beta but as we can see this angle beta is equal to the angle q which is because this is point q so this beta we say it it's equal to uh but beta degrees is equal to angle q right this is equal to angle q so definitely i'm just gonna find angle qy i can apply sine rule since i now have this value here we found this value guys we said this is 412 comma 057 kilometers per hour so i can use sine rule since i have since i want to find this angle and i have the corresponding side and i have this angle and corresponding side so i can use sine rule sine this one that i want to calculate which is sine q sine q 
over the corresponding side the side of q is this one that's the corresponding side 210 is equal to sign the other part that i'm given which is complete so it's this one and this resultant so it's 127 and this resultant so it's sine 127 over the resultant of 14 no this is not 14 but this is 412 comma 057 like this all right so definitely i'm just gonna remove this 10 multiply by 210 multiply by 210 this is gonna cancel here so that's sine q is equivalent to 210 sine 127 degrees over 412,057. All right. So from your mathematics, guys, you know that to find Q is going to be arc sine. So angle Q is going to be arc sine. That's 210 sine 127 degrees over 412,057 like that. Okay. So that's going to give us something like... Um, 24,071. So if you round off, it's going to be 24,0174. 174, which is going to be 017. If you round off properly to three decimal places, just theta. Okay. But we said beta is equal to Q. So this is equal to the beta, which is the direction. So therefore, the direction, like I said here, that our direction it's west beta degrees to the south so it's going to be west our beta here which is this angle 24,017 degrees to the south All right so therefore our answer now is going to be what because the question wanted us to calculate this so therefore the relative velocity of p with respect to q is going to be the answer that we obtained previous this one the result in this one four one two comma zero five seven that's kilometers per hour kilometers per hour at the direction this is the direction at west uh 24 degrees comma zero one seven 24,017 degrees to the south. That is the direction. So always the resultant, guys, when you are working with the relativity should go or should be hand in hand with the direction. There's no way it must be hand in hand with uh, the direction. So that's how, guys, they can ask these questions. As you can see, that's what we had from this question. It's a total of nine marks from everything that we had. So... Guys, that's it for me on African Motives, working on question papers and revision on engineering science and for. So if you're new, guys, don't forget to subscribe uh, and to share our videos, guys, to your friends and colleagues at school so that they also can benefit from this platform that we are having. So please, guys, don't forget to share our videos to your friends till we meet again.